good though. It just, it just feels good. Come on, tell the world what you think. How's the neck feel on that? <sighs> the neck is smooth, man. Straight. Frets feel great. Nice and round, not sharp at all on the edges. Just real smooth. Um, it's a good radius for me, though. I'm, I'm used to it. It actually feels a lot like my first Strat. I think that's that's one of the reasons I got it. So it's a strat guy who's on the verge of converting. Yeah, baby. You sold your soul to play this here guitar now, didn't you? Oh, yeah. <laughs> a couple times. <laughs> It's cool, man. I love the finish too. This is it's uh, it's interesting. It's got movement, you when know. When I glanced at it at first, I thought it was some sort of rosewood. Oh, because the finish? Yeah, yeah, because the finish. I saw it when I first walked in. It looked like some sort of rosewood. <laughs> He just put Johnny Highland out of a job. Necessarily that I'm a strat person or a tether guy or a Les Paul or whatever person. It's just whatever feels good. And if it just feels right, and it's that it's really actually good. looks good on you. It has a very organic appearance and a very earthy, organic look. That's the biggest thing, man. Between the the feel of the neck and the response of the pickups, because I don't really play with the pick that much. It's one of those things. Where it's funny because uh, somebody else can pick it up and it's got a totally different tone to it. Vince Gill has the same approach. Loves using his fingers. Uh, we were talking about that, about your fingers uh, in the, the different you know, tonal response you're getting in the connection. He, he said the opinion that the, the more human you can get with your instrument, the more expressive you can get.
beautiful. Is that yours? Is that? That's a mayor. Gosh, that's beautiful. That other one I was doing was mine. That Mary be proud of you. That, that's beautiful. That's cool, man. It just feels good. So what did you do to get all these just random brown spots on these? Is that just stain? That's no, it's my uh, Colonel Sanders recipe. <laughs> so you get a bucket of Kentucky fried chicken, get your hands nice and greasy. <laughs> This is cool looking, man. I, mean, I wanted. It just looks like an old barn. Yeah, that's. <laughs> yeah, I was trying to. What I I wanted several layers of movement with color and the finish. I wanted not just there to be movement and you know randomness in the finish, but layers of different colors and in different uh, you know kind of things like. Well, hey, look who showed like, up, hey, Mr. How D. You? How you doing, brother? I'm doing well. Give me a handshake there, brother. Great to see you. Great to see you. <laughs> it's more like a like an art piece. Daniel DeMonaco. <laughs> it's great.